We are also sorry to say sorry for those who have lost their loved ones. Brother Paul has said we are sorry for our children. Florence and others. Florence and Abande. And we still remember the family of Ruth. We still remember you in our prayers. We still remember you in our prayers. We still remember you in our prayers. God is always with you. When that service is finished, we will be saved. It is going to the place of worship. No, we are going to go to Saba and do its will. We are going to be with Saba and our Lord Jesus Christ. So it is not only being in the church, but to do God's will. And so this. Few hours we have. We want to say doing God God is well in the sanctuary. Ah, bono. Are you are you doing God is well in the sanctuary? No, we are not talking about the sanctuary. And so today we want to see that we need to know how to do God is well in the sanctuary. No, not only thing in the church, but doing God is well when you are in the church. From time to time, we are going to say that we are going to say that. From time to time. Even before sin, God had special time to talk yes. to His people. He will come to the Garden of Eden and speak. So they could have that close attachment with God. And so the, the times and occasions and places where God met His people. And the people need to know that now they are meeting their God. And after sin, we have, we have, the Bible tells us that God asked the people to prepare a place to be in a place where He can talk to His people. And so, uh, if we read the book of um, Exodus 25 verse 8 where we find out that God is saying let them make me a sanctuary so that I may dwell among them let them make me a sanctuary that I might dwell among them. And so this is what God said. And God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." And so God gave rules. He said, "How they were going to worship Him." So God was saying, "Make me a holy place to dwell among you." And so this is the place where God could come and speak to His people. Yes, God was with His people all the time. But there were specific times when you said I need to talk to you. Sometimes parents you know there are times when you want to talk to your child face to face. Yes, all the other times you are with your child. But there are times you look to your child Face on. And those times it means that you want to tell this child that there is the things you need to know about me. And the things you need to know about your life. So that's a serious time with your child. And so God said, make a place for me. So when you have need, when you have committed evil, I need to talk to you face to face. Of course, they could not see God face to face. Because, because uh, you see, a single person cannot see God's face. Yeah, so, 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 so,
we'll Abe see Abe. him when our body will be transformed so face to face we see God uh, one of these days and I'm longing to see the face of God physically to see his face I hope that's your desire too you want to see the face of God uh, so but God says you to see his face you must be right with him and so he was preparing his people he says that if you commit sin okay go to the sanctuary and the priest no more kwani. We, we just present or we intercede on your behalf. And so people used to go to the sanctuary. Confess their sins. Talk to God. And when they get out, they know that they have been forgiven. Before going to the sanctuary, they kind of that they were enemies of God. God. At the moment they go to the sanctuary, they feel that when they get out, they feel forgiven. They feel that attachment with God. And so that's why God said, let them make me a sanctuary. A holy place so that they can talk with God. Going to the sanctuary, God has said how one should behave in the sanctuary. So that you can feel the presence of God. And now the sanctuary in our times is the place we call the, the, the temple, we call it the church, and any, any place that has been set aside for God's purpose. And so the purpose for God's purpose is to be in and so from the text we read this morning there are some instructions to be followed doing God is way in the sanctuary and that's the, really the, the theme of our service this morning children doing God is way Church. Doing God is way in this holy place. And so the scripture said from Ecclesiastes 5, verse 2, verse 1. And in this verse 1, there are two things. There are two things to understand or to take note of. One, the Bible says Bible nasema, guard your steps uh, uh, migu yako, when you go to unapo ingia hekaruni mwa mungu guard your steps uh, angalieni migu ya mpuni migu yako watch your steps chiangalie when you are going to the house of worship unapo ingia maali what does this mean watch uh, 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 watch your steps nini kuchunga migu yako you see, the first goes on to say, Fungul inasema, he says here again, uh, inasema hivi, watch your steps when you go to the house of God. Lenda, magoro, magoro, wake, loko, and draw near to hear him rather than to give the sacrifice of food. So he says, it is guarding your steps. So he says, it is your steps. And number two, na la pili, Listening to him. Kusikiza, kusikiza. Listening to him. Kusikiza, Watching your steps. Migu yako. And listening to him. Na pili, niku, uh, okay, so it's watching your steps. Kwa hivyo kwanza, migu yako. And listening to his voice. Na la pili, kusikiza, sauti yake. What's that, that mean? Inamanisha nini? You see, when we go to the house of the Lord, which means that uh, keeping our feet is 
thought as one says is thought free with a realization of going to meet with a holy God. Ni kwamba unafahamu kwamba unaenda kukutana na Mungu mtakatifu. So you are going to meet a holy God. Ni wewe uko kwa na So when do you begin knowing that you are going to meet a holy God? Utaanza wakati gani kujua kwamba unaenda kukutana na Mungu mtakatifu? Now let's say between your house and this church. Sasa tuseme kuanzia kwako nyumbani na kanisa hili. When do you know that now you are going to meet a holy God? Wakati gani unatakana kujua kwamba unaenda kumkutana na Mungu mtakatifu. So one has said, mmoja anasema, it starts from when you begin knowing you are going to meet the Lord. Ni kwamba inaanzia wakati unajua unaenda kukutana na Mungu. So when you begin coming to this house, eke ra wacha akili go cha ase kabisa. You have to know whom you are going to meet. Wewe koma yango go chikumira na nere. Who is going to meet you? Ni nani ambaye mtakutana na yeye? And so as you come, kwa hivyo wakati unapokuja, you your mind. Unachiandaa mawazo yako kwamba ni nani utakutana naye Some people when they go to places of worship watu wengine wanapoenda mahali pa ibada Their minds are not prepared Mawazo yao hayacha taarifa Wakati mwingine wanaenda just to listen to people wanaenda kusikiza watu Or they just go there to listen to some music Ama waende kusikiza nyimbo tu Rather than going no we are going to listen to what God says Wanaenda kwenda kusikiza kile Mungu anasema Hello personal meditation akupitia kwa njia ya kutafakari listening to his voice through the word kusikiza sauti yake kutoka neno la Mungu follow human instrumentality when they speak the word of God watu wahubiri wa Mungu wanapozungumza neno la Mungu people prepare coming watu wanachiandaa kufika what is there for me today kujua ni nini ambacho kipo kwa Nengaki, to check yourself to know this week how have you been with God anything that you did against your God now is there anything you want to confess to your God so you prepare your mind coming to meet your God and so when you come kwa hivyo unapokuja then you listen unasikiza using the word of god unasikiza neno la mungu so one has says through worship mtu mmoja amesema ibada ya kweli begins when you begin going to the house of inaanza god. wakati unaanza hatua moja kutoka nyumbani kuelekea kanisani through worship kanisani. begins when you begin going to the house of god ibada ya kweli inaanza wakati unapoanza so, hatua ya kwanza kutoka kanisani begins as you come to this place kwa hivyo ibada ya kweli inaanza unapoanza hatua kuja kanisani and when you meet, you come to this place unapoingia kanisani now you listen to what is sasa voice. unasikiza kila mungu anayochosema not what others say sio kile watu wengine wanasema and when you come to this place una unapoingia hapa you know god is there una unajua mungu hako hako mahali hapa now you, you you shut off all all avenues all other things that may come Una to interfere your attention with god unafunga unafungia vitu vingine nje ambavyo vitaleta kuzuia kiza kwako kwa some mungu. churches have put levels outside the church saying Wa, wengine wameka mbao hapo nje wakisema turn your phones off wanamwandika funga simu yako some churches do that uh, kanisa zingine zimeweka hivyo kwa uh, some, some some places also they say don't, don't just use your phone when you're in the house of the Lord mahali kwingine wanasema msitumie simu ikiwa kanisani because you might listen to a different voice mm. instead of listening to the voice of God uende ukasikiza sauti ya mwingine baada ya kusikiza sauti ya Mungu you know sometimes someone you know Satan is not happy when you are worshiping the Lord uh, kweli shetani afurahi tunapomwabudu Mungu Satan is not happy Satan taiko kwa kiweka na toko sana. So he might use any means na bado tumia njira ndio nzi. To 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 disrupt you are listening to God. Elinde to tegerelio girio monene. Someone may give you a call. Onde na bara wakire simu yako tabana ne simu. So on your mind goes. Bone bilenge bia bia nganya. And so you miss. Elinde wa sirie toko ikere point yake. You are listening to the voice of God. Toko iweli ogirio monene. And so my friends this morning God is here and God is saying God is saying tread softly tread softly the master is here 
sarang orang orang omane na nara. When you saw that you listened to the voice of Allah. Elindo iwe li ogiri omane ne. When you get to this place, una poingia mahali hapa. You rejoice that you have been with Allah. Ufrahi e kwamba umekuwa na bana. Because there is maybe private sins you might have committed. Wenda uka umetenda dambi ya siri. So that's the time you say God. I will now come to your sanctuary. Unaambia Mungu nimekucha hekaruni. Take me as I am forgive me. Nichukue vile nilivyo nisamee dhambi zangu. And remember God is a long suffering God. Na ujue kwamba Mungu sio mpenzi. And God always forgives. Na kweli kila mara anasamehe. When you ask for that forgiveness. Unapouliza msamaha huo. Doing God is well in his sanctuary. Unapokutenda mapenzi yake Mungu akabakaruni. Is to him ni kitu cha kufurahisha kwake and, and turn off all outside voices uweze kufungia nje mawazo ama sauti zingine when you leave this place unapotoka mahali hapa you go home unaenda nyumbani ukiwa na furaha rejoicing ukifurahia because you know what god has spoken to you when you worship the lord kwa sababu unajua kile mungu amezungumza nawe uko wakati ulipokuwa unamwabudu make me sanctuary so that i may come to you Mungu anasema tengeneza mahali patakatifu that I speak to you ili niche nisungumuze nanyi and that's why we have this sanctuary here ndio sababu tuko na kanisa hili hapa and we never we invite all all of you and all friends and all the community to come kwa hivyo tunaharika kila mmoja na kila jamaa kuja kuja kuabudu here is a statement a holy statement kuna statement hapa which says ukuru hapa inasema When they come to the house of the Lord, wakati wanapokuja kanisani mwa Mungu, they should remember that heaven messengers are in the house. Ekere ba go cha se kanisa yo monene go ikaba nyolenga aba aba maraika bai goro no bara. Heaven messengers are there. Aba maraika bai goro ba saba tumu bai no bara. Heaven heaven angels are here with us. Aba maraika no bara monene. Messengers are here with us. Aba aba maraika no bara. So I let you know you belong to the king. I know you are a child of the Lord. I know So when you come to this place, if they should uh, okay, let me say here. If when the people come in the house of worship, they have genuine reverence for the Lord. And they are in mind they are in the presence of God. There will be a sweet eloquence in silence. Whispering and loving and talking uh, Yeah, and th which might be without sin in a common business place should find no sanction in the house where As God is worshipped they mind should be prepared to hear the word of God that it may have due weight and a sort of pray embrace the heart And so now common talking whispering should not find place in the house of the Lord because by whispering to, because you see a person maybe some people may whisper to themselves but uh, whispering really involves two people and so it says whispers, whispering talking should well, not find well, place Where you are with your God, you are creator. And so the Lord is here, my friends. No 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 And that's why we say children you cannot be running in the church when you are children. Even going to the restroom. No, I know go and asa kebara. Oh, atas, we are going to the restroom. No, I know abantu abanene. You see there is a time we cannot move. Ah, ngakineto bwene tikosuka. Now it's a serious place. Serious 
time with God. Chinga kichimo imana nyasa. You cannot move. Tobuende tugo suka. You cannot. Toga neiri. Because before you is a, a holy God. Because as as ngencho usibuao nyasa. How can you how can you move from a holy God? Na kiora asuke korua som tato mochen. How can you listen to somebody in a, the presence of a holy God? Na kina ndogo chigotega romo ntonde se usibuao tato mochen. How can you talk? In the presence of a holy God. So God is here. As we invite the pianist now to come. Yeah, the pianist to come. Pianist. To guide us now. How other people have found out the song we are going to sing. The the writer used the Habakkuk chapter two verse twenty. He says that the the Lord has given me the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of understanding. He says that the Lord the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent. He says that the Lord the Lord is in His holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent. He says that the Lord the Lord is in His holy temple. Habakkuk two twenty. The Lord is in His holy temple. Habakkuk two twenty. The Lord is in His holy temple. Let everybody keep silent. So when you come to the Holy God, you 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 keep silent. You are going to meet Him. God, the Creator. A Creator meeting a Creator. The Lord has accepted us. So if we have committed any sin in the past, confess them before God. Talk to your God. When you come to the house, continue meditating. Just be thinking of your God. When you come, I'm happy. Some people come to church. I see them just pouring down and praying silently. Some come, some come and sit and look everywhere. Some come and sit and look everywhere. And look when someone passing by. Some come and sit and look everywhere. And look when someone passing by. Some come and sit and look everywhere. You are in the presence of our God. So it means life and death. If you are accepted or be rejected, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. When you come to the presence of God, so it is a serious moment. Doing the will of God in His presence, in His in His sanctuary. Kora wa njapo nyasa se karia. By listening to Him, aso kotegar, kumategar, meditating, kusaba, accepting Him, na kumoita ba, and He will take you home. Na 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 kuiren, will accept you. Na na kuiita. May we do the will of God this year? Tiga to koro wa njapo nyasa mwa koyo in the sanctuary. Ase karia. When you come, ekero wacha, worship the Lord. In his sanctuary, go home. Rejoicing. You have been the presence of the Lord. That's my prayer for each one of us. Amen. 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 And when we sing, sing with understanding. And as we finish the song, uh, all ladies, you stay behind. Please do not get out. All ladies, kina mama water mupa kinyo mama musiende inchi musiende muruti. Don't go and say I'm going and we come back. No, just stay for a few moments. Please 